walking the long road to recovery. And for many victims of yesterday's flash floods, today marks the first step. Our team covers continues with our Sydney Stallworth live in Richmond Heights at a Red Cross flood shelter. And Sydney, how is the Red Cross helping these families who are forced to leave their homes and just about everything they own behind? Right, Rennie, good morning. You know, this morning, the people who are here at the Richmond Heights Community Center spent the night here. Many of these people I actually saw yesterday at the University uh, City first evacuation zone that was at Pershing Elementary School. They were moved here yesterday afternoon and knew this morning we're hearing that the Red Cross is going to be relocating them to Florissant at the Egan Center in just a matter of hours. Now, I want you to just take a look at why the Red Cross is in need to step in and help. Here's a look at some of the extensive damage we saw in places like University City yesterday. Rising flood water reportedly got as high as eight feet in some places. It quickly turned Trinity Avenue and several nearby streets into rivers. Take a look at this on streets like Caban Avenue. Cars were moved around at the water's will. Dumpsters were pushed around across the street. Now we captured the moment yesterday people were relocated from Pershing, Pershing Elementary in University City here to Richmond Heights for shelter. Red Cross says they're helping displace residents with finding a place to stay if they can't return home and connecting them with other partner agencies. Now, we spoke with some of the people inside this shelter yesterday, just hours after they were forced to abandon their homes. It's like we woke up to losing a lot of stuff. I'm scared for you. Yeah, so now we don't know where to go what to do it's a lot it's a lot I told my sister to look outside her lawn was going off the cars were starting to float in and it was like it was something you see on television happening in other countries or something some very powerful words reflecting on severe loss. And when I was at that University City evacuation point yesterday, I met one woman who's experiencing similar loss. She has multiple sclerosis. She lost her medication, her walking cane, and almost everything else. But that's not what she shed tears over when we spoke yesterday. We're going to hear from her in the next half hour. But for now, reporting in Richmond Heights, Sydney Stallworth, five on your side. Thank you, Sydney.